Do I need a business license to run an Airbnb? Or can you run it with no license at all? Let's find out. Hey there, my name is Mike Fritz. I'm the founder of Titanium Capital Investments and Power Up Real Estate. And on this channel, we help people just like you build wealth through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. And our greatest passion really is seeing people's lives change. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and also make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every single time we do a video. And this video is brought to you by our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle. Our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle is a mastermind group we created to help people just like you so you don't have to flounder, but you have somebody alongside you answering questions so you can build the kind of business, life, and real estate investing that you've always dreamt of. So do you need a license to run an Airbnb? Well, the short answer is no, you don't need a license at all. Do you need a certification? The answer is no. Do you need information? The answer is 100% yes. See, a lot of times people confuse licensing and certifications with information. A lot of times you can have a license and a certification and not know anything. And a lot of times you can have the information, but you need a license to do it. Like I know some builders like this, some, some handymen that they don't have their license, but man, they know a lot and they really need their license if they want to grow a business. Some businesses need a license, some don't. Airbnb is not one. You don't need a license, but the info in this video is going to walk you through what you do need to know before you start. So number one, what is it? Running an Airbnb or a short-term rental is simply taking a piece of property or a space of a property and providing that to somebody for a night or two nights or 10 nights or even a month or two on a short-term rental basis where they pay a nightly rate. There are a couple different platforms, Airbnb is one of them, one of the biggest home sharing platforms in the world where you can share spaces that you have in order to generate revenue on a nightly rate. It's just like a hotel, only the benefit is we don't have to pay a hotel tax. Hotel tax is really expensive and that's the power of Airbnb is we don't have to pay that hotel tax. And so we can just pay the Airbnb tax or the income tax from the property. So we take a piece of property, we rent it out nightly on these sites. We connect with guests on Airbnb, VRBO, all these sites that will connect us to the kind of people looking for our place. So you don't need a license, but you do need to understand what it is and then really how to do it. The second thing you need to know is when you start, keep it simple. Keep it simple. You want, you'll have to furnish your place unless it's already furnished, but keep it simple. You know, I have a manager, we have a team, I have a property manager, I've built a team. You don't need to do that when you start. Please don't do that when you start because it's going to cost you so much money, you're not going to make any money at first. So what you want to do is keep it simple. You want to furnish the property, make sure it has everything. Just start with one. Don't start with 10, start with one. That was a mistake I made. I started with eight before I knew what I was doing. And then I kind of crashed and burned and tripped over myself and spent way too much money on furnishing because I didn't know what I was doing. And you don't have to do that. You can, again, make money by just keeping it simple. Just rent out your house when you're away for a week. Rent out a, maybe you have a camper out in the, in the parking lot or your driveway. Rent out your camper. I'm telling you, these are the kinds of things people use on Airbnb and stay. I was just looking for a place the other day in Palm Springs for my wife and I to go away and spend some time. And I saw people renting out literally campers in Palm Springs. Because again, people can go there, they kind of get that camping feel, but they don't have to own a camper. They don't have to travel with a camper. They can just fly there and chill in the camper. And that's a powerful thing you can do. Again, space, and you just connect it with people that want that space. But when you start, just keep it simple. Third thing you need to know is how to actually make money. When you make money on Airbnb, you're making money, of course, on that nightly, weekly, or monthly rate. That's where you're gonna really make money. But let me tell you again, market drives profit. So where you're at is what's gonna dictate how much money you can actually make. So you're gonna make money on the nightly, weekly, monthly rate, but if you're in Orlando versus you know the middle of Indiana, the rates are gonna be different. You're gonna make more money in destinational areas. Now that doesn't mean if you have a camper and you're in Indianapolis that you can't turn it into an Airbnb because people do travel there for work and for business and for pleasure and all kinds of things. So you can rent that out. We started off, my wife and I owned a duplex and we just had half of a duplex in no, the middle of nowhere. We put that on Airbnb and guess what? The first, first couple weeks, a group of college students rented that, three or four college students, for six weeks. We generated quite a bit of revenue in six weeks. They rented that property out. So again, that's a powerful way to generate revenue when you don't have to really go and add a bunch more property. So again, keep it simple 
But the amount of money you can make dictates, is dictated by the area and the kind of property you have. And the last thing you have to ask yourself is should you do this? We started talking about do you need a license? The answer is no. But should you actually do this? Should this be something you add to your wheel? Your, your real estate investing or your wealth building tactic? My answer is yes. Everybody should be looking at this space as an option because it's a powerful way to do this. It's a powerful way to generate revenue. It's a powerful way to build wealth. And so if you've thought about getting into the Airbnb space, if you've thought about generating revenue this way, I would tell you, do it. Please do it. Because it's not something that uh, it's not something that that waiting to get into later is going to serve you. You want to do it now. I love what Robert Kiyosaki said: "Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait." The idea is get in today. So should you do this? Yes. You don't need a license, but you do need to get started and you do need to take action. Also, make sure you watch our other videos on Airbnb. We have a lot of videos on this channel on Airbnb, learning about the process and all the different ways you can generate revenue with Airbnb. So make sure you watch those videos. And if you're looking for a group that can help you do this, we've created the Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle, which is a mastermind group that helps people just like you build their Airbnb business and start generating revenue. That link's in the description. You can click that link, hop on the phone with our team, and we would gladly walk you through how we can help you in our Real Estate Ignition Inner Circle. We'll see you in the next video.